Right. If you know y'all not rocking, right. why you pull up in my space? Right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to start with you, you, but hit you with a, a kind of harsh question because as I'm as I'm looking on episode six, yeah, you guys said you, you, you didn't see it. Um, episode six, it went into the Nipsey Hustle rumors, right? And I had never heard that. I had never heard the Nipsey no. Hustle conspiracy that the big you had that uh, something to do with it, right? But let me ask you, let me get to a, a little deeper question. The rumor has it is that Nip came up to this guy and said, I can't hang with you or we can't be around because you're, you, he, was, he was a rat, right? right. Let me ask you a question. It's kind of harsh. Was Nipsey supposed to say that? If you're not in the streets no more, is, 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 is your opinion on the streets that valid? I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you got to understand it was two things. Well, let me say, let me ask you this. Cause okay. What bothers me the most is when people say he got killed by one of his own homeboys. Right. Well, at some point, he wasn't his homeboy. Right. Because right. he's like, nigga, you ain't supposed to be here. Right. If you fire somebody from Drink Champs, right. Right. and a nigga pull back up to Drink Champs right. while y'all filming, right. you're going to be right. like, nigga, wasn't that a disgruntled employee? Right. That means he wasn't the homeboy. Right. 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 Like, so they need to dead that part. Right. Like, he wasn't the homie. Right. And then secondly, no, nah, Nip shouldn't address that because Nip knew who he was. Right. Like, the nigga was they guy. Like, he worked for Nip, grew up with Nip, and he really was his, he was the man. He like, he was their guy. Right. He really was a shooter in the streets. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it ain't no paperwork on the man. Wow. Mm. So, I mean, we have yet to find I'll him. I'll tell you something that happened that day. It happened, what, what, what day Nipsey got, uh, uh, I think it was a Saturday, Sunday, Nipsey, uh, or something like that. It was a Saturday. I got approached with that same situation that Saturday. Dude came up to me on, on, on a, in a restaurant. I was trapped. And he looked, he felt it, he said, I'm gonna let you know right now, people saying I'm a, I'm a rat. And I was like, oh shit, like I didn't wanna have this conversation. And, and like, he just said it straight out. And I was like, oh shit, he addressed me so I didn't have to address him. But right. I thought of my, to myself, I thought about Nipsey immediately when that happened the next day. I was like, yo, you know, that could have that actual situation could have happened to me. But as a rapper, would I been out of line to even question a, a real street dude? I mean, Nip, you gotta understand, people wanna remove and separate Nip from the streets. Mm -hmm. You don't never really leave the streets. Like, right. Nip, this is where he grew up at, this is where he lived, this is where his right. business was. Right. So, really, dude was in violation. If you right. knew, you, I mean, rat or not, right. if you know y'all not rocking, right. why you pull up in my space? Right. You know what I'm saying? And Nip, like, nigga, free my space. I ain't right. trying to go there with you, right. but free my space. And, 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 and Nip's supposed to go there, because that's mm -hmm. where he meet the kids. Mm -hmm. That's where he greet the people. Mm -hmm. That's where he be, he still stay grounded. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if he don't go there no more, he don't show up. He these other niggas, he leave LA and move somewhere else. He in Hollywood. He, ain't, he just took pictures with some little babies. Wow. That's a great you understand know what I'm saying? Wow. He had blessed a little girl wow. and some more kids and was taking pictures with them. That's what he's supposed to do. He giving back. You know wow. what I mean? Wow. His presence is going to touch somebody else. Right. So if a, if a lane come up, if they beefing whatever the reason is, right. he don't have to be snitching, have to be whatever. Nigga, you just was mad at the world or you was mad at right. what the situation is. I'm not going to stop going to my neighborhood. Right. I live in my neighborhood. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I live on the hill in my neighborhood. Oh, oh, Arlington, I can, not Arlington, not Arlington. Not Arlington. Okay. I live up to okay. where we always wanted okay. to be. You know what I'm oh, wow. saying? Yeah. We wanted uh, to get to them houses up there. Uh, uh, so I got to them houses uh, up there. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? But... Nah, man, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a farce to think that violence ain't going to follow you wherever it is. Right. You right. know what I mean? It's right. going to follow you wherever it's going to follow you. And if it's meant for you to happen, it's going to hit you. Right. Period. That's real. Now, Deb, you got one of my favorite, like Bobby Brown's has my favorite uh, cocaine story when he said he <laughs> fried cocaine. He fried chicken with cocaine. And um, I just thought that that was amazing. Like, who has that much cocaine that they can convince it <laughs> with flour? I thought Bobby Brown had it. Until I heard your story, Dad. Yo, when I heard your story, I was like, yo, okay, do you know the story? Nah. Okay. You got well, the Chico. You got six episodes. This is, this is all awesome. And no, which is really crazy because he know more than we know. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we was there, we said <laughs> shit. <laughs> but we don't know what was committed. We don't know what was going on. And, and I'm fan. so glad you cleared stuff up because <laughs> I was really going to check in when you said, this is going to be an easy crew right here. Like, we just was going to be just that easy. I know. I know. I know. Like, you really learned us. So the story is, that they had so much heroin 
in the house. Oh, you talking about the the, the baby powder? Yes. Oh, yeah. That yes. shit was wild. That, that, oh. Your mom's asked, uh, I think your brother. Yo, what, no, she asked my father. Your father. She asked my dad. When he was said that? it's baby powder. He told it was baby powder. And you actually thought it was baby powder. Yeah, but he it said was, it. But it was heroin. It was heroin. <laughs> and, you, and you put it and on we your face. And we went up to L.D. That's up there with Bobby Brown, bro. You know no, she had so much heroin in the house yeah, that they yeah, thought no. it was baby powder. They put it on. How? how so what, what? What? do you knew that was heroin? How did you know? Because I didn't burning? know. I didn't know nothing. She was a kid. I thought it was baby powder. I was she a kid. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I was a kid. I went upstairs. Like after we took the shower, we were talking about because you know Johnson Johnson's was everything. Right, 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 right. So we you know, we thinking it was. It smell it. What it smell like? And me and my cousin oh, Sharon man. just kept doing it, but I really was going at it <laughs> and putting it on. Yeah, wow. it absorbed and. It was some real. So, so did you like? Oh, you said you said your skin broke out or something like that. No, oh, I no. was nodding all over the place. I started. <laughs> I was throwing up and yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yo, no. this I don't know. It's only saying. funny because she good. No, she's she's great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I got a problem with Well, that. I wasn't good then because of the stuff. That's how I learned about black chalk, and it's crazy because as a kid I learned about the, that black chalk shit, uh -huh. about them, the stuff that they give you, oh, and really? all the things. Yeah, yeah, the stuff that they give. You and I learned that there oh, if you inside of Queens General Hospital oh. um, at that time when we went in. And I learned a lot of stuff. And I remember my dad, I could see him when he was there and he was talking, and he was talking, whoever that, uh -huh. you know, it was like some doctors and everybody there was talking. But then I remember when we left, we was got the back, I was so drugged up, you know? Oh, wow. And um, it was crazy because my mother was like, she was so angry. Cause I got the blame for the shit that her husband did. Oh, right. So right. I asked the junkie, she wants something to eat. Right. What the hell? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell you asking the junkie that she wants something to eat? Damn. Like that wasn't my fault. Like I got blamed for right. going in there. That's the same thing with with methadone, right. thinking it's orange juice right. in your damn refrigerator. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My mother let me used to have that shit mm -hmm. in a damn refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Long time I could. That's why I'm like Sunny Delight. I don't drink Sunny Delight. Because Sunny Delight reminds me. Yeah. Sunny Delight reminds me of methadone. Yeah, yeah that's how it was just back like, then. Yeah. I, listen. First thing our parents people, tell us don't take no pills. Don't take That yeah. was a pill here. It, it's, it's something that you had to know yeah. during that time. Mm -hmm. It's for so long Real I was tough. so ashamed of so many things that went on with me, mm -hmm. but I was a product of my environment. Mm -hmm. This is where I came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which was really, really crazy because the bottles were sitting in the refrigerator, remember? Uh, I don't touch Sunny Delight because it's thick just like that shit. Uh, uh, it is thick. And I know we, we had that before uh, on a fetal position in the front uh, of the house, not knowing what the hell is going on. You get the shit beat out of you. Uh, but what you beat my ass for? Yeah. What is in there? I didn't know any better because you have mm -hmm. to still understand during that time, there was things that were still hidden from you. Mm -hmm. You could not know things like a child was to be seen but never heard mm. you couldn't and you could not discuss whatever went on in your household stayed nah, in no. your household you mm. better not go outside and talk about none of Nothing. this shit you couldn't talk about these things mm. so those were all the things that were so deep but yet you have all these people from all this time that's being judged mm. by all this thing think about like when I go into prisons and I talk to people men and women you know, I cry with them mm. because I understand what you went through. Mm. I thank God for the people that was out there that really looked out for me and taught me differently. Mm. Because when you was wanting to be lawyers and doctors, I want to be the biggest dope dealer in the world. God damn it. Like you God couldn't be bigger than me. God damn it. And I was going to do something that no woman ever done. Wow. I, these are things that I was going to be able to do because I was taught early on. You could not tell me nothing about my daddy and what he knew. You understand what I'm saying? Let me ask you. Let me ask you, Bimmy. How much cocaine did you do with Bobby Brown? Yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> just, I just gotta ask. Just I gotta ask. I, I need a drink, though. Yeah, come on. Oh, shit. Come on. You want some juice? I need a drink. Bust it open. Bust it open. Come on. Come on. Bust it open. So, so check it. One thing I did, right? Because he called you out for $2 million. Yeah, yeah. You, you was a good friend. Oh, and good deal either all. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. I never sold none to my friends or family. That's real. Ever. That's, that's real. That's, Ever. You know what I mean? Real. I sold people I ain't know. That's real. You know what I mean? And um, me and Bobby, we never, you know, did drugs. I never right. sold him drugs. Uh, this one time I seen Bobby. 
he got a Betty Ford. Watch out, that's a hot bottle. It's gonna yeah, pop. I know that. Okay. He, he's in the, he's in the. No, 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 no. We don't no, like go, that. Hey, we don't got no insurance here, baby. Please, yeah, pop that. Okay, yeah. pop that. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah, on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. No, I've been doing this for years, man. Come on. We got bad experiences with hot bottles. Go ahead. So, so check it. You know, we we in the limo one day, and um, I'm in the back seat with him. He in the middle. My other man here, two other guys here. It was his model dude. He likes can do. I forgot his name. And he had passed Bobby a joint, wow. but it was laced. Okay. And it was Woolers back then. Yeah, Woolers. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh-huh. So when, when he when he when he tapped it, mm-hmm. I'm in I'm in I'm in I'm by the window, mm-hmm. and I grabbed him, and I said, "Yo, I never believe what I heard. But you doing that shit in front of me? Right. Yeah, you know, I just want to see if you know I miss it. He right. threw it out the window. Wow. You know what I mean? So I don't don't condone my friends. I respect that. Let's have a drink. Come on, let's have a drink. Yeah. Yeah.